simple clothing all right simple road robe added armor leather armor does it make any difference the wearer of the skeins disadvantage on stealth rolls really disadvantage on stealth rolls so wouldn't you rather wear that then yeah huh uh what about this ring mail no proficiency in heavy armor okay Uh, we do have a ring. I don't think it does anything, though. A ruby like a drop of blood sits at the center of this ring. Nothing else, right? Yep. And there. And there. I uh, her. Okay, so it does six. Is there anything else that she's proficient in that does more? It's a two-handed axe that does 12 or up to 12. Uh, six. No, no. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, potentially, a great club does eight. Okay. And it looks like, oh, it's two-handed. She is proficient in it, though. D12 is devastating. I don't think I... I might have somebody. Let's see. Great axe. He might be able to use it. No, he can't. What about myself? I might be able to use Nope, I can't. <laughs> no proficiency martial art. Martial weapons. All right. And his is eight. That's the same. I'll leave him with his current sword. Usually barbarian weapons. Uh, so I could stick with the great club. I think I'm gonna go back to the, the ax and, or no, not the ax. Um, what was she proficient in? The hand ax and the shield or, oh, never mind. Yeah. Because she, she's going to be like our cleric, our healer, all that good stuff. He's going to do damage, and he's going to do damage as well. Uh, so. Let's see. Oh, we do have an amulet that we can put on. Evocation cantrip. Put that on myself, and he can take... In the silver locket and I think that's it I do want to get him a bow and potentially him one as well eventually if they if they are proficient in one huh range attack spell attack spell DC certain spells require enemies to take saving throws your spell casting ability modifier is added to this value with the total defining the saving throw difficulty class. Okay. Um, now that I have all you that equipment else? transferred over to me, you need extra AC. Of what course, is uh, AC? Remember, you're not the only Action one in combat. The <laughs> I don't know. sort it by value all right so let's put that in there then this guy and this guy and this guy the great axe i'll hold on to for right this second for that in there that that uh do i i'm gonna hold on to them and uh, now we'll find a better mace that great club i'll hold on to robes it's fine. Wait. Oh. I'm going to swap to the robes then. Because I get disadvantage on stealth rolls. AC is armor class. Okay. The higher the number, the harder you, you are to hit. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, kind of a mix between being agile enough to dodge and the armor armored up to take the hit. Okay. 
uh, ritual staff. I'm going to hold on to that for now. All right, so that's all good good stuff right there. Is there anything? Nature, nature's vengeance? I don't know. Any staffs? That's an arrow. Okay. So, yeah, I, I read the shoot part, but I didn't read the arrow of ice part above it the first time. So, that's kind of where, where it got messed up for me. Uh, arrow of lightning. Where are... Didn't he have staffs? He had some. I don't know where it went. Arrow of lightning. Roll over five. Dragon's grass. Applies burning on hit. And I gotta be careful with these staff, staff looking arrows, literally. Here it is. Uncommon two-handed melee. See, it's it doesn't say uh, staff. It literally just says two-handed melee weapon. But then underneath it, it says magic thrums thrums within the staff of twisting white birch and then it creates water best i can do is uh 300. all right let's uh i'll take the rest of his gold do that sylvanas be with you hopefully i clean up the description before it's out yeah hopefully uh, let me throw on the simple robes instead. And then mysterious artifact. Wait a minute. Is this what he needed? Keep your hands off that. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I guess these staffs don't even give you extra abilities. It's just so you have a weapon up close. Does his do anything? Yeah, do his doesn't do anything either. And hardwood. So they're literally just for looks right now. <laughs> All right. I think we're good to head out now. Um, I think what I'm actually going to do is go over to the overgrown ruins and head inside. Oh, shoot. Um, crap. We don't have the key, do we? No, we don't. All right, so I need to go back over to roadside cliffs. Save real quick. Okay. Now... We can head to the front. Okay. I never realized, so I was watching, oddly enough, I was watching Shroud last night, and originally during this fight area, I walked in right here, and then when I tried talking to the guy that was up on this corner, it instantly started a fight. But apparently, if you enter in this way, and then you go to them to here, there's two guys talking, it starts a cutscene and you can actually tell them to run. Um, so I guess entering a certain location can actually depend on what happens from there. So if you enter at the wrong angle, uh, you can get in some big trouble. <laughs> so I already cleared out this area and everything. Uh, dudes are dead. All that good stuff. Let me check my... So that's so weird still. Because my inventory is full, but I'm not. So definitely, uh, I think some of the numbers and stats in this game isn't exactly truthful. Um, so it's kind of just one of those things on the 
on the back side. There's a chest right here. What I'm going to do here is might impact things like your armor class whenever it comes to it, I think. Though it should display that kind of detail. Maybe they've not implemented that. True. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, so I know what happens in this area. I want to take that and the key. So it doesn't get triggered if I if I just take that. I'll take the center one in a second here. Touching the gargoyle heads doesn't do anything though, at least from everything I tried so far. Like that. Just does that. Uh roll drop if it'll allow. If you carry weight in excess of five times your strength score, you are encumbered, which means your speed drops by ten feet. If you carry weight in excess ten times of your strength score up to your maximum of carrying capacity, you're instead heavily encumbered, which means your speed drops by 20 feet and you have a disadvantage on ability checks, attack rolls, and saving throws that use strength, dexterity, or constitution. Whoa. <laughs> so, basically... I think, but maybe? Yeah. That might be true. Even in this. Go, go, go. There we go. That ex escalated quickly. It does. It does. But she got out of there alive. That's all that matters, right? Now we're good. She's a little bit injured. Nothing a uh, quick spell won't use that. Okay, so that's how you see action plus spell slot. And then this bonus action plus spell slot. Take a short rest. All right, we're going to go to camp real quick. So that way she heals up before we go any further. Nobody wants to... Oh, someone wants to speak. Oh, it's... Him. I was watching you at the Grove Gate. You spilled enough goblin blood to fill the Chionta. Where'd you learn moves like that? Uh, my patron empowers me in the return of, for my loyalty. Ah, yes. Loyalty. <laughs> it seems a small price to pay for such might. Then the bill comes due. If someone must share in the blade's glory, better it be a champ like you. What about you? How did you become the Blade of Frontiers? It was a time I didn't amount to much. But then, uh, a higher purpose called to me. Killed a few goblins, freed a few captives, and I was... That's it. The only life That's what I got me really heroes. interested in this now, too. Let's get some rest. The, the style of the cutscenes. With it being a top down game, but then you have this style cutscene and also like the RPG mechanics and everything. I feel like it makes for a very, very good um, like story based game. <clears throat> That's so, <clears throat> the one thing that I really wish Divinity had.
exactly exactly <laughs> pretty much but yes and no also what's going on kaicho yes and no it is Arms but it scrapped. isn't yes but because it takes a lot like i'm pretty sure it's same engine and everything so about their words but at the same time detection. it completely changes like walking over items to like adding in the DD &D aspects of it completely changes a lot of the game so that's juggle scribe of the dead i didn't think anyone still worshipped him so that but yes and no <laughs> like jump dash etc yeah that's where it really gets changed up a whole lot but other than that i mean yes essentially notice those yeah i was what i mean last night i was watching shroud and it was it's very funny watching him he was like having a lot of issues with the gameplay decisions that they made so far he was like for him it just like doesn't really make sense but he still was playing it so i was like i kind of get it no it is up to four player co-op now i can't really say that it works great in its current condition but it is uh available sort this by weight and i'm gonna move that these two over here let's try to even it out so that way we're kind of like equal yeah for that and along with like this this is really nice too because now like say if i do it doesn't matter whose inventory it's in if i have a piece of armor like here I can click it out and swap it in and it shows me the difference. You don't have to go one by one to each character and individually look like, okay, this is what this guy has. Okay, now I want to equip this. You can literally just go, okay, what's available? All right, here's all the available hands. Here's all the available, available uh, those. So it, it is really nice for that. Can you unequip items? Quality of life upgrades. Love. True. All right. I think we're uh, good right there. So difficult for my character to see in the dark here. I wonder, can you jump up and grab on? <laughs> or is that too much? Oh, there's a lever. Wait. Quick save before we pull the lever. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Just takes you out here. Interesting. Uh, I think we're going to go back in. <laughs> After they climb up there and then all the way back. There we go. Dank. Yo, this crypt is so dank, bro. Um, I wish there was an easier way to like it's so dark. I don't know. I'm thinking about unlocking that the elvish, uh, whatever it's called for this. Um, wait, does this make a difference? Um, uh, I see now. It's about to make him That's jump for curious. nothing. <laughs> oh nice floating button oh boy hells something just woke up down ah shit we can't see let them come the darkness can be to our advantage 
Uh, hello? Enemies? There's one. Target's too far. It's weird that it gives you this, but then you can't do it. Oh God. <laughs> Yo, Mike Samp, thank you for the, uh, <laughs> All right, Merc Samp. Thank you for the follow there. Appreciate it. Ah, uh, crap. I hate it when they get stuck back here like this. What are you doing? Step bro. Stuck all the way back there like that. Seems a little uh, odd, don't you think? Actually, did some good damage right there. Oh boy. Poisoned. Alright, Gail. Get up to right there. And of course, I can't jump. Took me 30 seconds to realize that's a Twitch extension. Uh, the thing over on the side, like with the names. <laughs> or with the characters and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And when, when I get in conversation with somebody too, I can open it up so that way like chat can decide which options you say. Um, so that thing's pretty cool as well. Let me see. And try taking out this guy. Almost. Almost down. It's weird, she's separated by the other two. Oh shoot, did I just end my turn on... I have an ability called Lit. Ah <laughs> oh, shoot. Burning hands. Alright, I keep forgetting that you have to do that with like within a certain amount of feet. Dark One's Blessing. This man is on fire. Firebolts. It's obscured by the shadows. Ignis. Nice. Move up here. Move up a little bit more, like two feet. Okay. Oof. Oof. Ouch. No. Uh, can we help him up? Are you kidding? I can't reach. I can't reach him. Really? Oh, wait, you can. Oh, okay. There you go. Just had to move there first. And then, bonus action. Take some heals, my guy. Oh, shoot. There's still two more over here. 39 feet. Two asleep. Nice. And create a wisp of light immuting a 30. Do I still have that? No. Oh, he's leveled up. I just realized that. Their highest is intelligence. So let's put hex intelligence on this guy. I think that's how that works. Concentration broken. And then done. 
<laughs> okay, let's get as close as we can. And throw it at... They're about the same. This guy. Boom. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> One hit. Not bad. Not bad at all. Cool. Alright, let's... Uh... See, I wish that this ability right here does not tell you that it's an out of combat ability. It's weird. Because if you do it while in combat, they're just going to see it instantly. Whoops. Whoa. I want to do that. Not yet. Nope. Trying to move some of these around. Um. That. This guy is self. So these are like debuffs. Bestow guidance upon a creature. Who's next up? Myself. Guidance. And let's heal up Gale. Take you. So is it just D&D 5th &D edition, right? That's what I'm, it seems like to me. Uh, yes. <laughs> Basically, yes. Alright, let's hit this guy. Oh, wait. I can reapply X. Reapply intelligence. X on this guy for free. And then now, hit him with that. Boom. 10. Damn, boy. I played Nature Cleric on Roll 20 net. So her spells are familiar to me. Alright, what is... What's Roll 20? Is it like just like an online thing? Or... I'm not sure. <laughs> to be honest. Game resistance. I think what I'm going to do for these characters is like the top row is going to be like all attack abilities. And then bottom row is going to be like... Uh, buffs and debuffs. So that's a buff. That's one. This is a debuff. Essentially. I think, right? They receive a four penalty to attack rolls and saving throws. Not bad. So it could be a damage ability. Let's do Eldritch. Blast. Online gaming site that connects folks and allows you to play games like D&D &D and other with people. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's actually really neat. Chat with her. Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty balls. <laughs> I get this issue so much. I feel like I, everybody else I've seen, you don't really get that. All right, let's see. Chat, one or two, one or two, one or two. <laughs> See. We should have left this place untouched. There's only like 10 seconds left. I'm just curious. I want to see what happens. For me, it keeps saying to vote. Please share your Twitch identity. Please save your regrets. This place isn't worthy of them. You disapproved. It had a pop up for us. Okay. 
Did it say the options for you? Or does it just say one or two? That's pretty cool though. I really like that. The extension, and the really neat thing is the extension automatically activates every time uh, I put on the game. Yeah, one or two. And we look at your screen. That's pretty cool. Neat. I have yet to have a uh, moment to use this. Speak with animals. Okay, so that's... This is basically out of combat. This is potentially... Nah, well, it's technically like a debuff in a way. Because I can charm them. Yeah. Cannot harm the ca charmer, and the charmer has advantage on charisma checks against the creature. Is there a... Are there charisma checks in combat? Is that a thing? Deception, intimidation, performer, and persuasion. If needed, yes. Intimidation. I'm just confused, though, because these are all, like, speech things. Unless if, like... There's an item that I use, I guess. Maybe that, that needs like a certain amount of charisma. Fail a roll, it could break a charm or I fail, fail a spell to overpower slash confuse, etc. I think I understand. Black. The inscription is in a language unknown They're all empty. Same thing as failing in dexterity. Uh, a lot oh god, of oh god. To hide one sarcophagus. Oh, it's so much better being able to see. <laughs> I need to get that for my character very badly. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. pushing it oh boy what do we just do oh no I wasn't ready for this there's also no sound hello so he has spoken and so thou standest before me right as always what a curious way to awaken ah now, there. I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Quite the question, what's the reason for it? Yeah, okay, game. So he has spoken, what he are you talking about? A little spooked by the crawling out of the tomb bit, what are you? Curiosity. Nothing more. Wilt thou answer <laughs> my question? Uh... Yes, ask away. So, I ask again. What is the worth of a single mortal life? No one life is worth more than any other. We are equal. It depends on a person's deeds. Life's only value is as currency. Doesn't matter to me otherwise. Each life is infinite value and merit sacrificing everything for. The only life that matters is mine. Depends on the mortal. Shit, man. <laughs> These are deep. <laughs> uh... Worth more than your no, sir, <laughs> or what's left of it. In death, that is so. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. 
We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. S Sir, you just walked into the acid. Sir, are you okay? Guess he's okay. Um. Okay. He needs some milk. <laughs> Alright, I guess we can just leave out of here then. Yeah. Is there... Does anyone know how to... to need some surgery? Is there a way to... Oh, wait, you know what? Wait, I can just do this, right? Yeah. Wait, does that use an ability, though? Okay, it just uses bonus action. So essentially, you can use it all the time to light up places if you need to. That's not bad. Because now I can actually see. A little bit better. Uh. All right. Let's go back to overgrown ruins. And then I'm gonna, oh wait, not this one. I always mean to go to the cliff side. Okay, and then let's set up camp real quick. So that way we can rest up and upgrade everybody on all that good stuff. Let's do upgrades first. All right, Warlock. So same as me, uh, what abilities do we have here? I'm feeling like I should get Witch Bolt. Surrounded by a black mist, you teleport to an unoccupied space that you can see. Warlock's so OP. Oh, these are all new uh, level two abilities, nice. Wow, you only get one though. Had a friend who played one and he was merged everything. <laughs> Nothing could hurt him. Create a cloud of magical darkness to heavily obscure. So these are all level one abilities. And then these, this is where two starts. Generate a painfully intense ringing noise that deals three die, three die, eight damage. Thunder to creatures and objects. Scorching ray, hurl three rays of fire. Deals two die, six. Is that how you is that how you would pronounce it like two die six damage or is it just like two die six is there like a correct 2d6 at <laughs> two or you could just say 2d6 ray of enfeeblement damn how am i supposed to just choose one out of all of these <laughs> The distract attackers, each duplicate increases your armor armor class by three. Hmm. Invisibility, a person, paralyzing humano humanoid creature, blindness, magically blind a enemy. Uh, it's either a misty step or we go with another attack ability like Witch Bolt. But I mean, I guess if we already have one like that, we have the fire ability. Do I really need it? Step bro. <laughs> yeah, what's going on Slayer? How you doing? Misstep equals godlike because you can escape harm without being attacked. And it's a bonus one. Bonus ability. How about replacement spells? So what do we have here? We could swap out one of these. This one's cool, but it's you have to be like completely right up against them. And this one goes up to 15 feet or 17 feet. They do the same damage. This one's closer. I'm going to replace this guy. They do the same amount of damage and Yeah. So I'm gonna swap that one out with one of these. Man, that wrecked me. 
Thanks for recommending any Rebel Discord. These guys are as funny as hell. Hey, no problem, man. Thanks for uh, joining. <laughs> They're all great people, man. This goes up to 60 feet. I like that. I'm going to confirm that. Is combat 100% turn-based or can you switch to real time somehow? Uh, for the most part, it's all turn-based. When combat is 100% turn base from my understanding that right now there's not any way of doing real time moving around is uh real time but when you actually get to combat it is detect thoughts focus to read the thoughts of certain creatures while talking to them that's pretty cool but that's an actual ability so can you does anyone know, Kaicho, I don't know if you know, are, are you able to use these abilities while you're talking to somebody, like, in dialogue? I'm so confused about this, because this seems like it's an ability that you use while you're talking to somebody, not an ability that you use while in combat. So... But it literally says it has concentration required. That usually equals combat. Okay. While talking to them. I'm so confused. You can have one concentration equals one spell concentrated at a time or spell the spell breaks. Okay. So that's like hex and stuff. Like that's such a cool ability, but like I don't know how it works. <laughs> I could also get uh Misty Step on this character. Painfully intense ring that deals. Hmm. I am gonna get Misty Step on this character and then replace one of these. Charm person. So here's another one of those. Shatter. This one. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. So another one of those is we have Charm Person. Is magically charm a humanoid that you can see I also have that on the cleric so I don't know if I really need that a charm creature can't harm the charmer and the charmer has an advantage on charisma checks I think I'd rather swap that out keep hex take shatter instead well it's first wisdom warlocks don't have high wisdom wisdom Ah, ah. <laughs> so be careful what spells you choose and saves. I do like that it, it lets you swap it out like this. So you can get one new ability and then you can also gain uh, Pack to the Chain. Gain the service of a familiar fey spirit that form you choose. This can be an animal, imp, or quasit. Quasit. <laughs> Whoa, oh my god. Dude, clerics, what? What? New, 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 new. Blindness, hold person, prayer of healing, silence, and then prepared spells. What the heck? Mirror image, pass without trace, aid, lesser res restoration. Druids, rangers, and clerics use wisdom as their spellcasting ability likelihood. Uh, wizards. Uh, wizards use intelligence. Clerics are kind of hard to play well, in my opinion. All right, so let's see. Inflict wounds. Infuse your hands with purifying energy that deals... Yeah, but you have to be within five feet of somebody that heals up to 10 feet or 60 feet. So that's pretty good. Call forth a beam of light. Oh, these are all con currently known spells. So this is asking me if I want to change them out, I guess. Guiding bolt equals godlike for your cleric damage. 
because of the, uh, okay, I see. Bane, uh, I might, well, that's attack wis wisdom. Wait, this is attack charisma. I'm going to take that off and replace it for, with a different one. Because I have that on other characters. Radiant type damage is super strong versus shadow radiant type damage. Oh, like that. This radiant. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see. Create water. Singer exposed flames and forms water surface. I could, yeah, I'll keep that because inflict wounds. I might take that off because you have to be so close to them and everybody else is going to be so far away anyways. And then these are new abilities that I can unlock anyways. So is command halt worth keeping? I can command a creature to nah. Radiant type damage is super strong versus shadow slash shade creatures and even some dragons. Nah. Old person is greater than halt. True. I can see that. Old person. Yeah, because that is a level two ability. And this is level one. I see. Holding a person is good in combat. Stops po folks from running. If you want to get keep them from moving further. Okay. Um, I kind of want to get some. Make sure we have some good. Like buffs and stuff surround a creature with a shimmering field of magic that increases yeah let's take that one plus up to three creatures they have bonus okay okay a creature you touch regains that so then now hmm. actually Let's start fresh. So Guiding Bolt, yes. Healing Wound. I thought we had that already. Aid. Okay, yeah. I'm going to keep Healing Wound, I guess. Let's prepare spells before using them. Create a soundproof sphere. Creatures and objects within silent are silenced and immune to thunder damage. Prayer of Healing. See within regain that. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, piece of candy. Uh, then I'll take this guy. Then this guy. And this, I think. Oh wait. Bolster your allies with toughness and resolve. Heals and increase the hit point maximum by five point. Hit points. Plus three. Four plus. Uh, Gets so much more though. With the healing. Or the cure wounds than you would with that. But then if I need to do a range one. I could use that ability. But it only goes up to 50 feet. So this is like if one person is hurt. This is if like two people are hurt. This is if like they're right next to you and then this one is if they're far but you want to give them selectively more healing. I guess that's the safe bet to give that over this one being right next to you. Or I could just swap these two and focus on this one instead. But it only goes, it goes half the range. I feel like I'm never that far from each other anyway so I'm going to try that. Done. Except. Wizard. Yo, Wizard Harry. All right, let's see what we got here. So we got blur and darkness. Oh my God, bro. You have so many abilities. What's the, so I'm confused. What's the difference between prepared spells and spells?
prepared spells like i feel like it your chosen class must prepare spells before using them and spells first spells of first level and above require spell slots to cast unless the ability states otherwise so you're an all caster team i'm worried if you'll run into a rogue and rogue his stealths so prepared spells equals you need to memorize which ones you want to cast if you enter combat okay so like prepared spells is like i gotcha i gotcha it's the ones that you can actually use in combat and you can swap them in and out with new uh, other ones but there's a limit of how many ones that you can actually use if it's not prepared then you can't use it at all you might have it in your like backlog of spells but if that spell is not prepared then in a case where you want to use it you can't because it wasn't prepared in the first place i think spells are you all the things you know prepared are the ones that okay yeah 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 but run out if you run out okay gotcha also higher level spells equals use up higher level spell slots that you've leveled up okay so like this one ah this one uses two and this one uses one i see damn I'm still wondering how detect thoughts can be useful. Maybe it's like to see an action before they actually do it or something. I'm not 100% sure. Will they see in the dark or go out of range? Out. Grant a creature the ability to see in the dark out to a range of 60 feet. I kind of want to keep them all like damage focused body becomes blurred attackers have disadvantage on attack rolls against you constitution no shoot a green arrow that bursts into a spray of acid deals that ranged attack Do we have any range giving you the gems fam <laughs> literally I appreciate it, by the way, man. A lot of good info. Get good info. I could get Shatter again. Find Familiar. Gain the service of Familiar. A fray spirit that takes an animal form that you choose. Do that one again. Brain wasted space memory. Memorizing this shit. <laughs> Grant the rate of uh, descent of allied creatures. Grants immunity to falling damage. Kind of cool. Expeditious retreat. Turn dash into a bonus action, allowing you to move at an incredible pace. I feel like that might be useful. Bolster your life with necromatic. Back simile of life to gain five temporary hit points. Color spray. Create a dazzling color light that creatures up to a combined third 33 hit points hmm. I feel like web might be good and let's do these two repaired spells all right so let's clear clear these out so then if we do scorching way and run red web touch a creature to triple its jumping distance i haven't had a time where that's been very useful yet thunder wave 17 feet grease cover the ground in grease it becomes difficult to current terrain and creatures within it can fall prone <laughs> witch bolt and then fog cloud or sleep yeah let's do that and accept all right now take my character again and let's put it there all right let's talk with will real quick and then a fine day for it sec. yes hold on who are you talking to Wait, what?
What? Oh, goodness, no one, really. Just a bit of poetry to clear the head. Perhaps it's working. I haven't sprouted a single tentacle that I can <laughs> see anyway. <laughs> I call that a good sign. Optimism. I like it. But do let me know if you start growing a second tongue or something. He's my favorite guy so far. Him and Gale. Shadowheart, I feel like she doesn't have much personality just yet. Or we don't like know too much about her. Go to bed. So cozy. Shadowheart, it's a Karen. <laughs> Um, all right, one sec. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick and I might grab a, a quick snack as well. So I will be right back and then we'll go ahead and continue.